Hey guys, Acer here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. We're getting ready to go take on Opal. I trained a little bit off screen. Rango, Senji are both a little bit over leveled for my liking, but we also managed to get our Loudred to evolve into X Loud. So I think in the layout, I'm gonna have just, I'm gonna remove uh, Loudred and just put X Loud in there. Just to make that easier on uh, on myself. So yeah, we're gonna get, we're getting ready to get to go take on Opal. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. Uh, I know I could be talking to like all these people in their houses and stuff, but like, let's just make our way through the game because it's more of the oh yeah oh Challenger Acer. You got four badges already. I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Urara. Look, even more Pico is wary of you. <laughs> Wait, more Pico. Do you actually? Don't tell me you actually like Acer. Ugh, we've already got a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. <laughs> Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of my lead cards, okay? Oh my. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like, ugh, why? Why do you do this to me? What's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many challengers left, you know, so we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Man, Marnie's one of the better rivals, too. At least, I think she's one of the better rivals. What do you What do you want to give us? Uh, love and... Oh, the love... That's funny. The love ball. I mean, we are in a fairy-type uh, town, so... Yeah, that does make sense. All right, let's let's uh, let's go in. Of course, let's do it. Test of quality. It's a very serious examination. So we can pass the gym challenge, but we'll fail Opal's uh, test because of our lack of pink or something. There's a lack of something that we have that Opal wants, and it's the amount of pink. And it's the amount of pink that Bead has. Which is probably why she loves fairy types. Let, let's see, Opal. <laughs> ah, there you are, my dear challenger. Though you really are lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here, so my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Oh, don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering, though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. But if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy-type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Okay, yeah, this one I have to pay attention, because those stat, de those stat debuffs are going to become annoying to deal with. Uh, gym mission begin. Let's do it. Now, Opal's examining us. What do you what do you got for us? Alright, I'm starting to do the fairy type gym leader. And let's see what silly questions her gym trainer will ask us. Gym trainer Annette is the first one against her Spritzy. So I gotta take note of every single Pokemon. Uh Frost Breath, Ice Fang, I think. I'll go for the Oh wow, my neighbors are just stim stip stomping around upstairs, aren't they? Frost Breath. Wait, what? No! No, 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 no! Oh. Question. Uh, poison. They're both correct. Uh, poison. I, I don't know. That answer. Attack and special. Ooh. Ooh, jaw monster. I, I see you now. I see you. Get it? Yes! Although Jaw Monster is also- wait, what? That was a crit and it still didn't kill it? Man, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, Jaw Monster, I believe in you. I just want you to be strong. I want you to become a Glalie. I want to use you in the gym fights. Like, we've only got two gyms left after this. We were three gyms. We got Sir Chester, Spike Muth, and Hammerlock, and then we're off to the league. Keep in current Pokemon. This might be a mistake, but I'm going to keep in because I wanted to switch him out to go into 
Senji, even though we're way over level with Senji, I think we'll be fine for Sir Chester on training, assuming everybody is, you know, evolved and ready to go, plus we're going up against a Ice-type gym leader next. Oh, you gotta be ki- oh, special defense, okay. Steel Wing! Yeah! See how much this, this Slurp Puff will give us. It would have given us a lot more on Jaw Monster if he had stayed in, but... It, it is what it is. Jaw Monster still got a lot of XP off of that. So, we'll just have to switch train for now. I just wanted someone to take on... Because I remember Opal having a Toga Kiss. So I know that, uh... She'll have a weakness to Ice types, and Ah can cover that with the uh, the Fang moves that I had to reteach him whenever he evolved. I was just curious, and I thought to reteach him uh, some moves once he evolved. And I checked Rango's already, and Rango doesn't really learn anything good. Not that I've seen at least. All right, let's hit with the Frost Breath, please. Yes. Man, Frost Breath is actually pretty good if you can get it. Because it's always a critical hit, so it goes through any stat buffs on it. Oh, wait, that's only a 50 base power move. That doesn't do that much. That's good. So, Jaw Monster's pretty good to stay in on the first Pokemon, but their second Pokemon's usually evolved. What was the previous trainer's name? It was Annette, not Annetta. It's always something silly like that, where it's like, what was their name? Annette or Annetta? Our speed's up. So just don't miss. Yes. Jaw Monster, you coming in? You, you're saving the day. Man, I really, really love uh, Snow Runt and the uh, Glalie Land. I wish we could have gotten a Frost Lass. Although we wouldn't have been able to get a Frost Lass until late game anyways. Because I'd... Well, I would have had to look around to figure out where the Shiny Stone was at. Or if it's even sold or where to like, actually find it. And I'd... I know I could go around digging up Watts from the, uh, the dens and asking the digger bros, because I think that they can give you, uh, evolution stones, or wait until Sir Chester and go to the, uh, to the island at the, not the island, the little cliff area at the Lake of Outrage. Oh, sweet kids. It's gonna confuse me, isn't it? Nuts. Man, dealing with these fairy types sometimes is a pain in the ass. The garbage. <laughs> At least we resist it. And we're super effective against it. I'm just hoping that we can just get through this gym challenge relatively easy so that way we can make our way up to Sir Chester. What? Twice in a row? Why? Why twice in a row? That's nonsense. Come on. Just... Thank you. I was going to say three times in a row is going to make me very upset. I don't want three times in a row. That'd be that'd be a total load of garbage if that was the case. Man, I don't think we're going to have Jaw Monster evolved until Sir Chester, which sucks because I really, really want to use him. And we can't use him in Sir Chester because Melanie uses Ice types. So, like, it's just... Uh, yeah, she u Melanie uses Ice types. So unless we get a huge boost of XP off of this one, where it's like, here, we'll give you enough XP to evolve. Morgrum, we might get something good off of this. I'll have to swap in and out, though. Yeah, Morgrum has got a higher level on us. So Senji is going to be our answer. It's a Dark Fairy type, though. So what was... What's the question going to be on this one now? Fake out. See, question. What do I eat for omelets? I prefer cheese omelets. O okay. I, I don't... And then I know during the gym fight she asks some pretty silly questions too. Like, they're just... They're just some really absurd and hilarious questions. Man, why do you evolve at a weird level, Jaw Monster? Why? Why do you do this to me? Gardevoir, 
Ooh, that's actually a really good Pokemon, like a final evolution, so we... Well, we, we're not going to be able to evolve before the gym fight, but that that's okay. As long as we can take out her, uh, her Pokemon, because the biggest concern I have is her Togekiss. And that's because of the lack of uh, coverage with Ice types. But now, thankfully, that we have... Ah, I was hoping for Jaw Monster to be able to do it and be the, the Jaw Monster that we need in this gym. But uh, that's not going to happen. Charm, you're, you're not going to do anything. You're just going to go down pretty easy. Man, I wish they added in like those XP boot. Because I know the XP charm, thankfully, makes it easier to get XP. But uh, we still need... Mystical what? Yo, I'm so glad that we're a higher level. That would have killed us if we were, like, level 40. That probably would have killed us. It gets mystical fun. What? That's insane. Ah, oh, Jaw Monster, you're so close. We're gonna have a Jaw Monster after the gym. To be fair, we can use Jaw Monster against Raihan, but... I mean, mm. we should be focusing on the gym challenge when Miss Opal insisted on making this an audition. I think that was all of her gym trainers, so we should be good to go onto the pitch. Yeah, that was that was everybody. <sighs> oh well. All right, let's. Uh, is that immediately challenge gym leader? Yes. Oh wait. Oh no, we're just gonna go out to the pitch. We do our Pokemon healed? No. I almost made a mistake. This would have cost us the gym challenge right here. Well, it wouldn't have cost us the gym challenge. We probably would have just lost Senji. We probably would have lost Jaw Monster more than anyone else, if I'm being honest, if that were to have would have gone in without healing. But Senji can take a few hits. He's really tanky. So now, all we gotta do now is beat Opal, and I know we'll do fine in this gym fight, because I never had trouble with Opal before. Now I'm just wondering how we're going to do this. I suppose it's a bit too late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at how you handle those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at you and how your partner Pokemon behave. Okay, okay, so... Yeah, I'm not really too worried about Melody, Me uh, Melanie, since we have a good bit of Pokemon that can take on Ice types. And even then, if we had to fight Gordy, I wouldn't be that worried about that anyways. Larian Weezing, it looks like we're going into Senji on this one since he is immune to poison types. Yeah, let's go into Senji. Senji's going to be the smart choice in this gym to make. But I don't want to just use Senji. I want to make use of everybody on my team. So let's do it. Let's make it a point to do this. Ooh, ooh, that was a good call. Question. Do you know my nickname? Uh, the magic user. Bzz, too bad. You're not a wizard. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I should have... I should have guessed that. Uh, oh well. A critical hit. Ooh! Ooh, I see you. I see you, Corviknight. You're looking out for me. Yeah, Jaw Monster's still not evolving. Mawile, let's go into... Going to Monster House, actually. Yeah, that'll help a lot. Going into Monster House, using Incinerate. Uh, maybe. I really, really don't want to have to stuck between using Senji and just uh, Monster House in this gym. At least we're a special attacker. At least we are Incinerate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Oh man, this gym fight's gonna be pretty easy. 
Assuming her Togekiss doesn't give us any issues, so, you know, knock on wood that we don't have issues with Tog with, uh... So at least we're making use of more than just a few Pokémon in this gym. At the very least, we're doing good on that part. Now, do I want to go for the Thunder Fang and try to get paralyzed, or do I want to go for the Ice Fang and attempt to freeze? Because they both have a chance to flinch and freeze, and I like both options equally. Now, this is Oz, like, first real... Real, uh, gym battle. Gym attempt. Do we want to howl? Hmm. We'll go for a howl and see. Just to get our attack up. Just to get our stats boosted so we can get a guaranteed good hit. And it's only raised by one. Oh, no. Don't do a lot of... Okay. Okay, good. It doesn't do that much damage. Uh, okay. So, pink would be the obvious answer. Let's go with purple. A nice deep purple, truly grand, don't you think? You would think pink, and then you look at, uh... Like, his bead is obviously, like, a light purple, like a purplish pink shade of color, but... You know, it, it's... Oh, come on, we couldn't get either flinch or... Man, you gotta be kidding me. Oh well, that's fine. That is perfectly fine by me. Togekiss faint. Sweet. Looks like Jaw Monster is evolving at the end of this gym fight. And I think we're pretty close to being on level with Melanie, so very little training is necessary for our team. But then I wonder how it'll be when we get to Spike Move. Oh, let's go into Senji for this one. I'm glad we saved our Dynamax in this gym, too. Because at this one I had to play more strategically since I didn't really have much to cover fairies except for spamming Senji, but... I didn't want to do that. My morning is finally kicking in. Not a moment too soon. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh, it's pink. Looking tasty, Alcremi. Yummy. I wonder if there's anybody in the Pokemon who's actually attempted to eat an Alcremi. <laughs> it makes me wonder. Now, at the very least, now we will be able to go get another encounter in both Wild Area and in the Isle of Armor, which I think is what we do next episode. Because after this, I want to go immediately to, to Hammerlock for the story. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Wow, that Pokeball could have just brought her down. She just oh, almost tumbled over. Awesome. Alfremi looks delicious. Apparently its attacks contain like several like million calories in it, so like you would just die of sugar overdose if you even took a hit from Alfremi because your body would absorb too much sugar in one go. Oh, that's terrifying. At least Corviknight has the size for it. You lack pink. Here, let us give you some. G-Max finale! Ooh, yummy cake. I didn't do anything. Lame. Oh, that's interesting. It restores HP. I'm surprised you didn't go on with your third and final question, though. I remember there being three. I remember three at least. Sweet. We have won the gym badge. And not a problem at all. Although some of our Pokemon are overleveled, i.e. Rango and Senji, and I gotta stop using those two a whole lot. I think next gym is whenever uh, Monster House is really gonna shine. And I'll even teach uh, uh, a Fang move. But look at this beauty, the beautiful snow run. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I can't talk right now, I'm sorry. The amazing snow run evolving into Glalie. Look at that. We finally have our jaw monster. Wow. That, that is just. You learn anything? Free. Ooh! Ooh! Freeze dry! You will be an asset against, uh, oh yeah, you are definitely 
an asset against Melanie. Like, that, that is really good. We now have three Pokemon that can take a run. Plus, Freeze Dry is super effective against water type move, against uh, water types. And that is really good by itself. Oh man, that is just. That is powerful. Well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry, worry yourself about a child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next gym leader elsewhere. In fact, I've already got an idea as to where to look. Too bad about the audition, though. But here's a fairy badge for your efforts. <laughs> oh man, I find it so funny that she chooses. And she chooses Bead to be the next gym leader. Like, it never would have struck me as Bead to be a, a gym leader next, but given the circumstances and he got kicked out of the gym challenge for being a total asshole, he's like, wait, 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 I committed a crime. Please don't kick me from the gym challenge. There has to be another way. Like, come on, man. Come on. That old fuck let me know when it's time to put the to step out of the spotlight. Yeah, Opal's been a gym leader for a while. All right, off to Hammerlock. That gym didn't take too long at all. Hold on now. About twenty minutes, I'd say. I've got a few errands running Hammerlock. Can you care to join me for the journey? <laughs> With pleasure. They say two's company after all. Oh man, I wonder how many people said no to Opal because she's just a sweet little granny who just who just wants to be able to retire. So we've made it back to Hammerlock. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Oh man. I'm excited for what's about to happen. Let's run over to where Sir Chester's gonna be. And... Oh, there's an item. I missed this item? What? Oh, two. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Two free hyper potions? I'll take it. There's a kid in. I think Motostoke or Hammerlock that gives you a sweet apple. Oh, there's Bead. He's just kind of being pouty about. Ugh. <sighs> Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenge status revoked? Can you really afford to waste time like this? Not, not really. I commend your humility. It's appropriate for a trainer of your limited to- Oh, frick, screw you. I'll have you know that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the challenge. Ah, uh, that won't do because, hmm, that boy. <laughs> oh no. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. <laughs> oh no. Time for my gym mission, child. Uh, what? <laughs> Pink. Pink. <laughs> Pink. Congratulations, child. <laughs> oh my god, that gets me every time. <laughs> M Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish when she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put into it, too. Are, are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making, you s making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Oh my god. Bead's like, yes! My ticket back in the game! Alright, well that that's enough uh, hilarity for one day, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That being said, I hope you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!